today I'm going to go through the alternate leg series that I typically do in a reformer on the mat series or reformer inspired mat class. Um, it's more of a tower leg series than anything, but um, I feel like it's a it's a good thing to mix in with reformer since we don't have the straps. We can still get a good leg and core workout by doing some of these exercises. So for this series, um, you'll want to be propped up. So I have a bunch of props here that you could use. Um, I'm going to do it on the oof because it adds a little less stability. If you don't have an oof um, and you want some extra bounce work, small ball. Like, absolutely, this is definitely tough. Um, so you can use that. You can also use a any kind of foam roller. Um, for this leg series, it's nice. So foam roller is nice because you can put your hands on the side um, instead of having them lower on the mat. So this is a really good option, especially if you're a beginner. Um, I would recommend uh, a, a medium or a soft. The soft definitely feels good on the low back, almost gives it a little bit of a massage. You can do this on a half barrel or a quarter barrel if you end up having one of those. Um, also very good option because as you're doing the series, they have handles on the side. So you can hold on to the sides while you're doing the work, or you can place your hands on top, um, to press those shoulders in and stabilize the upper body. So that's an option. Um, another option, definitely a little bit tougher. The reason that, um, if you want to call this the air disc or the wobble disc, is a little bit tougher is um, it's it's sh it's shorter so it's smaller um, the higher up your hips are going to be lifted the more you can have um, that a little bit of that pelvic tuck you can engage more of your core muscles while you're trying to bring your legs out into space so this would also be um, a little bit more of a challenge um, kind of like the small ball. The small ball is small. You'll be rocking back and forth. With this one, you'll have a little bit of that, but it's also a little bit shorter. So um, I guess what I want to say is, you know, pick your prop based on how how you want your workout to be. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my balance, or whew, I, like my my low back is sore. I'm gonna pick a nice soft foam roller so I can roll it out. Um, you know, so you can make it as challenging. Um, as you want to based on your prop. You can also do the entire exercise set without a prop at all. So um, yeah, you can put your hands underneath and that's about it. It will be a lot of core work. So um, just think of the footwork series that we do at the beginning of advanced, advanced mat class. That's what that would sort of feel like. Um, like I said, today I'm going to use the OOF and we're going to get to it. So I am going to sit on my oof and then I'm going to bring myself back. So whatever prop you're using, go ahead, sit on it, and then come back to a place where when your legs are up, you're in a place where you're comfortable and you can be in a little bit of that pelvic tuck and engage that core. So that's where I am right now. And then from here, oh, I just realized my pants are left over there. Okay. So from there, um, I'm going to open up my shoulders and bring my hands in or bring my hands down and stabilize everything. So I'm pulling belly button to spine right now and I'm really going to engage from here. I'm going to bring my legs up and I'm going to, I'm going to find my working level. So my working level is how far I'm pulling belly button to spine. How far can I go without arching my back away? So that's, let me show you what it looks like. I've gone too far. My ribs just popped up and my, my back started to go up towards the ceiling. I want to try and keep a nice tuck and a nice, uh, nice engagement. So this is as far as I would be going and then I'm going to come back. So it's almost like we're doing double leg lower lift here. So we're just going to find that spot and really know that spot. And we're going to do these nice and slow. So again, we're just doing presses, which you would do 
if we were doing some leg work on the reformer, we'd be in straps. We might just do a few presses just to feel what our body is doing for us today. Uh, from here, we're gonna do some circles. So we're gonna start out by going out and down and meeting our feet at the bottom, no lower than that working level. So you can bring your legs back a little bit as long as you're pulling belly button to spine and you can make these circles very, very small. So you're reaching, you're engaging everything. I'm gonna turn on my glutes and I'm gonna try and meet my feet and then bring them back in. So we're gonna inhale for about half the circle. We go out to the sides, we come down, we meet our feet and then we come back in. So inhaling for half and exhaling for half. We'll pause up at the top. We're gonna inhale down and then we're gonna open and circle back up. I am trying to straighten these legs, keep everything nice and tight. I am actually in parallel. You can do the same exact series with Pilates V. If you are having trouble finding your glute muscles, go ahead and bring your legs into a Pilates V. Squeeze those heels in as you lower. Keep them in that Pilates V and meet them back up at the top. So we'll do one more. You're gonna inhale for half the circle and then exhale for the other half meeting at the top. So those would be straight leg presses, we'll call them, and then circles. Now we're gonna come into frog position. So I'm gonna bring my legs down. I'm gonna be in Pilates V and my knees are gonna be about shoulder width. From here, I'm gonna pull, pull belly button to spine and I'm gonna go straight out with my heels. So again, no lower than that original uh, working level. So inhale as those heels go out and exhale to bring them back in. I'm going a little bit farther in than normal, but I'm trying not to um, roll my pelvis up. So inhale out and exhale in. Now we're gonna do some circles. So I'm gonna come out a little bit so that I have a little bit, I, I'm still tucked here, but I have some space here from my, my rib to the top of my pelvis. This is gonna be my starting position, so it's going to be a pretty small circle. I'm gonna inhale, lift my heels up to the top, so up straight, then I'm gonna come out in that Pilates V, which is just like what we just did. I'm gonna meet my heels, and I'm gonna bend back into that spot. So I'm not gonna come all the way in to tuck, because I've just crushed my, my tips of my hips to my ribs, I'm gonna keep some space here. So I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna meet those heels and bring them back in and keep that length right here. So inhale up, exhale around and back in. Then I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna come up to the top and then I'm gonna bend my legs back down. So I'm gonna go out, open, come up. I'm gonna bend down, but when I bend down, I'm not coming in. So I'm not squishing like rolling like a ball here. I'm trying to keep out. And I think I've been bringing my feet in. I have a little bit of a point here is what I should be doing. So I'm gonna go out, keep that. Heels come up, bend the legs down. Inhale out, open, and come back out. Now I'm gonna bring my legs out to that working level right here. I'm gonna go out with one leg and I'm gonna come back in. So that opposite leg is gonna stay exactly where it is. It's a ton of core work. You can have your legs up and do the same thing. This is why our hands, open shoulders, everything pressing in, nice stability here and come back in. You can come in for a second and rest. And we're gonna go straight back out and we're gonna do feet. So we're gonna beat our heels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Heels together and we come back in. We'll do that one more time. We're gonna go out. We're gonna beat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Heels come together and then you come back in. Then from there, you can, whatever you're on, um, you can get off very carefully. Ooh, it was a little weird. Ooh, I'm gonna look awesome on camera. Ooh, and then roll up. So that's a little bit of work that we would do um, for our legs in Reformer on the Mat class. Um, just wanted to put this video out there so that people could see it, 